we're really starting to see a resurgence in the importance of hardware as our customers are developing more complex software and services to enable their strategies, they're looking for hardware platforms. So I see the future of manufacturing very bright. I mean, when you look at robotics, uh, machine learning, AI, factories and the processes are gonna be smarter, more efficient, more sustainable, more streamlined ultimately benefiting, benefiting our customers. The thing I always used to say, I was an exec at Facebook and at Google over the last five years. It sounds very simple to say it, but it's profound how you manage it. You can't change the hardware after you ship it. And literally at Facebook, you could change two lines of code, ship it out to a million people, see how it did, and change it and ship it out to a billion. But the way you manage and develop it is quite different. And so Apple's really good at it here in Silicon Valley. Samsung's really good at it. But there's the software giants, I think, are trying to get good at hardware to be able to take advantage of the opportunity. The importance of hardware, we're seeing a resurgence in hardware, and I think a lot of that has to do with some of the new applications that are out there, autonomous driving, Internet of Things, areas that are mission critical where we're going to need high reliability, high quality, and very secure hardware. And so as we see those types of applications, the importance of hardware, and not just software, is coming to the forefront. And when I think about the combination of hardware and software, I think if you think about the Internet, we sort of got away with the web sort of hid all the hardware from us. It was hidden back in the cloud, it was away from us. We had this abstract sort of connection. First it was dial-up, then it was a broadband connection. IoT means I want to interact with that kind of data flow, the cloud, but with a thing that's physically close to me. So you can't avoid the hardware anymore. It's actually in your face. So I come from a world of, of, of only software. It was a Dropbox before, and I would see the world through like a screen. Now I'm in a world of hardware such as a vehicle. And I think software help, helps truly really transform what hardware does, how is reach it? And there's, there's something we can do about it, you can choose the colors of your seats, but other than that, there's not much more you can do. I've never, in the 20 years I've been working in hardware, had people, so many CEOs come to me from these gazillion dollar companies and say, tell us what to do next, we don't know. And if they're asking me that, they must be, I mean, I've, I've innovated, I've shipped billions of dollars worth of innovative product, but so have other people. And so it's this moment, I think, where we can take really novel, kind of on the hairy edge of physics, seemingly impossible, seemingly crazy stuff, and get it into high volume mass production pretty quickly. People have forgotten about the importance of hardware. Software provides flexibility, and hardware provides the performance. I personally believe the pendulum has swung too far to the right in terms of software, and the resurgence of hardware is now front and center in today's conversations. People need quality hardware to support the complicated algorithms of the future.